Hey everyone, I'm Frank with Strength for Combat in Boynton Beach. Today I wanted to make a quick video regarding the difference between a pistol and a rifle. So let's get started. Over here I have three firearms. Two of them are pistols, one of them is a rifle. I want to see which one you think is which. So let's start off with this. We have the Glock 17. I have the Uzi Pro. And I have the AR Platform. Okay, now, for this one, this is the magazine that it takes. And the cartridge or bullet that is fired looks like this compared to the other one that the Glock fires from, as well as the Uzi. Okay, so now we have, now you have a few of the facts. So take a guess, which one is the rifle? So this is a, a trick question. Every firearm on this table, all three of them, they are all classified as pistols. So let's talk briefly about the difference. So a pistol is designed to be shot with one hand. A rifle is designed to be shot from the shoulder. So obviously, a handgun like this is going to be a pistol. Now, when we talk about the Uzi, the Uzi Pro, this is a semi-automatic pistol. It has a shoulder brace, I'm sorry, it has an arm brace that's meant to be fired by placing your arm through, tightening it up, so it allows you to shoot with one hand, making this a pistol. Also, the barrel length being under 16 inches is what also classifies this as a pistol. Now the AR. So, AR-15, very popular rifle. Could be a rifle, could be a pistol. In this case, this is an AR pistol. Now, the same thing that was on the Uzi, which is the arm brace, uh, securing it to my arm so it can be fired with one hand. Same thing with the barrel length under 16 inches. Now, the cartridge size of the bullet, like I showed you the magazines earlier, that has nothing to do with making it a pistol or a rifle. Okay, now there's a, this is a foregrip. So let's say we were to, this one doesn't have the right rail. So let's say I were to put the foregrip on this, although it's a little bit close. I'll use this one as the example. If I had the correct mounting here and I put this on, this vertical foregrip, all of a sudden the classification of the weapon changes. This small plastic piece that's simply meant to grip is now classified as any other weapon requiring a different registration. So if you are in the market for a firearm, you want to get something, make sure to do your research and ask around and, and figure out what is legal, what is not, what is allowed and what is not. One small alteration on the gun could change it and you could be in a lot of trouble. Now placing this, if this was angled, let's say 45 degrees, or if it was, it has something like this right here, so your hand doesn't come in front of the muzzle, that is okay. So there's a lot to it. If you guys have any questions, feel free to send me a message. I will answer them for you. If you are in need of firearm training or firearm transfer, Strength for Combat is an FFL dealer, so please contact us. Have a great day.